Yo, what's up, good people of art, my friend there, how you doing today, man? You look great from where you are. You see this guy seated here, on this seat, I mean myself, I am Y311H, and I am here, good people of art, to react together with you, me and you, through some incredible videos, good vibes videos. Funny videos that will tickle your funny bone and give you just laughing. And other videos that will make you rethink reality. All this with the aim of doing our mission of spreading love. Showing the importance of unity and forgiveness among humans. And above all, spreading good vibes, man. So wonderful. So watch these videos till the end and hit the like button. That way we can spread this message to the whole world. Straight out of Africa. It's lots of good vibes, man. Yes, David. I noticed something quite bizarre, and it wasn't in the data from the collisions. It was in the shape of CERN's most well recognized building, the Globe of Science and Innovation in Geneva, Switzerland. Not only was it a bowl shape, but the design of the building also had a hole in the top of the dome, exactly as my theory would call for. So I made a magnetic scale model of the CERN dome, placed a set of them in my vacuum chamber, and fired it up. Not only did these CERN bowls form a spherical shape at the center of the reaction, but they also formed a disk of plasma around the nucleus, as well as ejection jets along the axis. After running the experiments for a few days with the CERN bowls, they were removed from the vacuum chamber and photographed, revealing the patterns you see here. Then once it was realized that the key pattern required for this theory was found in the dome at CERN, it was also discovered that CERN was not the only place with the required pattern. The pattern has been there for centuries at the Pantheon in Rome, which has been referred to as the Vault of the Heavens. Then the required shape was also found at St. Peter's Basilica. Then one of my favorites was found at St. Paul's Cathedral in Medina, Malta. Notice the angels circling the hole at the top of the dome, and compare that to the glowing ring that is found inside the bowl-shaped magnetic field emitters in the vacuum chamber. Why are these angels on fire exactly where they should be? Much more. So it seems that people often want a sign from God that we are not alone. Sometimes God does give us a sign if we just pay attention. Sometimes he even puts that sign up over the capital of the United States of America. Yo, man. What a food that drinks. Give me a thoughts on that. Y'all know what this is right here? This is a painting from 1650. Look at the knights right there. Look right here at the bottom. Looks like lightning, doesn't it? It. As you can see in this picture right here above me, looks like electricity going everywhere. Lightning, so to speak. Allegedly, what they were doing was the same thing this guy right here did, Tesla. Harnessing the ether. This is how it would look in modern day. So y'all just keep this in mind. This was a video, but y'all get the point. Looking like Stormbreaker right there. But as you can see, you see they're fighting and you see the lightning coming out. Then if you look at a lot of the old weapons and stuff like that from way back, you know, 500, 1,000 years ago, it sure makes you wonder. Like this sword right here, you know, it almost looks like a spark plug, so to speak. I'm just saying. Then we got the staffs or whatever. Then we got these dudes in the Faraday cages. So you look at this and you're like, holy moly, why so decorative? Why all that? They're just going to fight. If they were harnessing the energy from the ether, from the electromagnetic energy, right there, you see that little thing on top of his head? Looks like a pretty good lightning rod, doesn't it? Here's one of the shields from back in the day. Y'all take a good look at that. Stuff like this right here, they would charge up and the lightning would allegedly shoot out. Just saying. I know it sounds crazy, but... Keep an open mind. Take a look at that right there too while you're keeping an open mind. This was outside. Look at all that electricity going through it. This was in 1650. 
Oh my god, man. Crazy stuff, those ones. Hey. Don't care what nobody say. This is live. You see the little green ball bouncing around on my camera. Don't even worry about that. Look up here in my sky. Look. Look. What is that? They don't expect nobody to look directly at the sun. But what is that? What is that? You can't tell me that that's not three planets in the sky right there. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not talking about the green light bouncing around. I'm talking about live on my camera. Look at this. What is that? It's moving. That's the sun to the left, something else beside it to the right. And then there's another planet right there to the right beside it. It is 6.52 in the morning in Los Angeles, California. Anybody with the iPhone camera, any camera can see this with yourself. Oh man, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Lots of parents ask this famous question, how many fingers and toes? If there's more than 10 and 10, you've got a problem. And this child clearly has more than 10. This is called polydactyly. And the most frequent reason for this is familial. That's right, there's something genetic that is passed from parents to offspring. One interesting feature is that it is more common to have an extra digit if you're a black than a Caucasian child. When the extra digits are this many and clearly have bony formations in them, this requires an orthopedic surgeon and plastic surgery to collaborate and fix this issue. Oh my god! ¿Qué se hizo? Se quitó el anuel. Ahí, vea, vea, velo, velo, paisa. Velo, paisita, velo, eh. Vení, velo acá. Mira, 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 Tírenos la amiga, aparece encima, que se tiran acá encima y nos bañeron, ¿no? O que nos tiren algo. Qué locura, papá. ¿Qué hace piro? ¿Cómo se mueve? Esa sí parece una bolsa. Esa sí parece una bolsa. Uy, ñero, vea, 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 What is that man? Oh look at this. Some good vibes guy here or out there fishing. And this is what they came across. Oh what do you think is feeding their nets like this? Let's see. You see there's always crazy stuff out there in the sea. And these guys might have come across some. Oh what this are fish? Or what is this stuff? Oh my god, this is unbelievable. Good people of that, do you mean all this are fish or uh, what is this stuff? Hey! Oh yeah, yeah, they look like fish now after seeing them close up. But from a distance they look like other stuff that you cannot understand. Oh! This is a lot of animals that have been uh, taken from their habitat. Hey, hey! Good people of that, why don't we live nicely with uh, this stuff here and uh, spread love amongst them? No, it's good vibes. Thanks for watching up to this far. Like always, hit the like button and leave some comments. And uh, thank you very much for the people that have clicked for the first time. Big up to yourself, man. You see, this guy took pics of Robert the Doll without asking for permission. Then this is what happened. You see, this Robert the Doll looks like some creepy doll that is uh, in some museum there. And it's like this doll is alive or it does crazy stuff. Let's see what he's doing now, man. Oh my god. Oh, can this door talk or see or how does it happen? You see, there were some videos there in uh, our first episodes with some creepy dolls. And now you see this and it's quite surprising. 
Mm. Do you think that is normal? Oh, when dogs behave like this, apparently it's a warning of a gene around. Oh. So this woman saw this dog behaving like this and decided to film what was going on around, you see? Just uh, for the sake. And then this is what was happening. Yo, oh, you can see when the find the dog is standing. And this is creepy. The dog grew scared. And the woman is scared too. Oh, maybe there are uh, evil spirits or jeans in her house. What do you think, man? Oh, what is crazy stuff is there? And then this, this one. What is... Ah! Oh, oh my god, good people of that. Can you see this stuff? Looks like some giant creepy. Oh my god. There's always crazy stuff in the woods. And these guys, uh, apparently, when they were out there having some good time, they cross across, they came across that. You see? Oh. Look at this. Man. Wait, wait, wait. What's going down? Huh. When you are trying to be supportive of your spooky child's interest. Oh my god, what is this? Why would someone put such a types of dolls uh, in their house? Do you, this dog look creepy to you? This doll? Huh. To me it does men, but anyway it is with the humans there and is. I think it's good vibes. Or what do you think? Good people of earth, English people. Hey, do you buy your children uh, dolls that look like this? Or how does it go down? You see, tell us. You see, from this side of the world, we don't do dull stuff. We make them. Huh. Electricity captured in glass. Oh, look at this. This is crazy, man. Oh, interesting stuff. This was good people of earth. You see? This was an angel descending to earth and dancing to the atmosphere of this reality. And was recorded someplace allegedly by some CCTV camera. Oh, and you see that stuff there, that creature that this person recorded and uh, apparently they think is a ghost or some angel. What do you think it is? Oh, good people of earth that this it is or uh, what do you call this stuff? Or maybe just some uh, weird looking type of drone. Or what do you think this stuff are? Wonderful Adrix. Look at this. How is it moving like that? Oh. Oh man, this is creepy. Or is that a baby angel because it does not look as tall? Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments, man. Wonderful. Add drinks and record always hit the like button. Please don't forget to. You know how the Simpsons tell you everything, right? You ever see the episode where they're living in the artificial dome because we've destroyed the atmosphere? There are other movies too, like The Matrix. Um, I can't think of them now, but there are other movies out there where basically they tell you that they destroyed the atmosphere and that's why they created this artificial dome and you can't go outside that artificial dome because the air outside is toxic and you'll die. Makes you think. Hmm. What do you think about that? Huh? Look at this man. Oh. Oh, some person thinks this uh, is a siren that was recorded inside the water in some place. I don't know where this place is. But good people of Earth, do you think this uh, stuff is real? Or is it just some CGI type of stuff? Huh? And if you have ever seen this stuff, also leave your comments there, you see? Because stuff like this now make you GD1. Oh, if they are real, then there is a lot of crazy stuff in this world, you see? This one looks a uh, little bit uh, dead, you see, but now it's hard to decide uh, you know, if it uh, might be a fake, you see. This one is crazy, man. And it seems like it was recorded close up. Or uh, these creatures down there have phones and they recorded it and uploaded it on their website and then someone came across it. Because you see this footage, uh, this Stuff was recorded when it was really close. Who do you think was recording good people of that? Just out of curiosity, if we live on a globe and the sun is billions of miles away, how the fuck are they going to shoot rockets at the sun <laughs> during the eclipse? And if they're doing so, are they now just revealing to the world that the local sun is indeed factual 
and that we do in fact live on a flat earth is this how they're going to reveal it to the world by launching rockets at the sun that we can watch explode because i know damn well that you're not going to believe <laughs> that we have rockets that fly billions of miles away oh, what do you think about that good vibes guy curiosity hmm? oh and then there were some faces there recorded in crowds you see this is in mexico and it is current because this was recorded in 2024. Do you see that crazy stuff you face there in the sky? Good people of us. What's going on, man? You see this stuff we have been seeing here. Some of it is really suppressing me now. And I'm wondering what's going on in this world. Good people, you see? So you need to unite and be honest with one another. So that stuff like this we can be able to understand. Because now you see this one is happening in the, the place that we live here or not, and now it's something that we cannot understand. You see? What is this now? Are these holograms or what do you call this? English people and uh, people of technology. We people of us from every place. Why don't we help another understand this? You see, this is no scare. Yo, such a big face. Imagine if the whole head now popped in. Oh, it could be crazy stuff. If the face just is as that big. Oh, then means, that means that some extremely big stuff that you don't know about, you see? What world is that? That's Looks pretty like awesome. a character from Mario. There you go. Like Super Smash or something. Oh, look at it. Look at it. What? It looks like a balloon with arms. That is awesome! I can think oh of several gosh. plankton that kind of look like that, but nothing that should be that big. No! And it looks pink with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven arms. Great flying. Oh my gosh. Really good flying. Wow. That might be my favorite thing so far. But what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Weird floaty orb. I got nothing. I don't even know what phylum to start start with on that one. So if anybody is a fan of Pokemon, an online viewer says it looks like Minery. No man, that stuff looks very beautiful. What is it? Oh, look at this one. This person here has some extremely big good vibes dog. For which animal is this? Good vibes people of other from uh, different places. Do, is this some dog or... Uh, oh, it looks extremely big. Uh, anyway, it's good vibes. You see, it is there cheering with humans. Just like uh, some human from some place here have this weird hand here. Looks like it was frozen or what's up? Whose hand was this good people of us? Caveman's hand or what's up? Looks like he even had some uh, stone made gloves. Oh my, yeah, yeah, yeah. How is this even possible? Huh? Why do people find this stuff? Good people of us. You see, you keep on wondering. Oh, you guys, oh, people watching, have you ever come across stuff like this or uh, stuff that uh, is new to everybody else? You see? Because you see people here with stuff that is uh, unseen and you wonder, oh, was this stuff hidden or how did they find it? Because it's this one now. Look at this. Oh, the hand has some stuff that looks like uh, wires. What are they for? Oh my god. Hey, there is a lot of stuff on this one, good people. Hey, don't you agree? Let's watch it then and uh, leave your comments, man. Oh, and some guys saw these activities there in the water and they think that uh, apparently those stuff were sirens or mermaids. And now, wonderful other things. Who what do you think this was? Oh, and those that live near places where there are large water bodies. Have you ever seen such type of activities? Is this normal or uh, this guy was lucky enough to see some abnormal activities out there in the sea? Leave your comments. Oh, this guy was out there fishing, huh? Oh, and it was, um, everything was pretty normal. Until he saw what his camera had recorded. Yeah. You see that stuff? Oh, and it's like it was coming towards this good vibes guy. <laughs> and he was still there, sitting, waiting for that stuff to reach him, so that maybe he can record it. Oh, this must be one very courageous good vibes fella. 
What could you have done in such a situation? Hmm? The first footage of an ocean mammal caught on camera. Have you guys ever seen that stuff in this life? Like for it, when you touched it, hey, I'd like to come across one, man. And then what are this stuff? Look at this. Hey, they look like uh, symbols from the past. Uh, what are they symbolizing? You see, these are uh, those crazy type of drawings and art that were found in some places and people say that allegedly maybe they are Egyptian type of drawings and this is uh, some good vibes video here maybe to elaborate what some of those carvings and uh, drawings they might mean you see oh there's this stuff here oh, huh. and then oh it looks like the Egyptians used to have those stuff from palm trees and uh, what are those oh this is nice man you mean people from the past uh, used to have these fruits? Why is it that you are told that uh, some of them came later, later on? I don't know, good people of Give your thoughts on this, man. It's good vibes. And thanks for watching up to this part. You're a lovely soul, man. Big up to yourself from wherever you're watching from. And uh, tell us your name there in the comment section, you see? And if you're seated next to someone, ah, give them a high five and uh, tell them you love them, you see? Because uh, you never know the... It's never too late to spread love, you see? Huh? Good way. Just gonna be honest, me and my brother were there in Miami, and it's so crazy that you guys don't believe in that, but we saw 12 fucking goddamn foot fucking aliens, no fucking lie, and what happened when my brother tried to record Everything turned off. Now, a lot of explosion. That's what there was a lot of everybody in there. Everybody run. All you see was a bunch of little fourteen year old, like fifteen year old. Get the fuck kids. out of here, bro. Fucking run, bro. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, and then immediately said, go, go, everything like, turned off. Turn everything turned, turned off. And shooter. so I that's know what I saw, bro. Yeah, I know that's why saw. nobody has any of that footage that you guys are wondering why you didn't get the footage because as soon as ev everything guys. turned off, as soon as you saw that creature. Everything turned off. I seen off. a man on stilts. That wasn't no fucking man on stilts. No, nah, it wasn't no man on stilts. stilts. How do you have a man on stilts when it was a shadow creature? Nah, Get dog, the fuck that, that out of here. That was moving. Like, it, nah, dog. And they're going to take it down soon. So. Yeah, they will. Oh, man. Oh, good people of us. That's some scary stuff. All right, now, the, I showed you. This is a fingertip. Now, just take your time and look. You see the fingernail? I, I don't. I see a rock, but I can I see what you're outlining. All right, that think of, just just give yourself a little time to let it sink in. This is actually a fingerprint. I mean, a finger nail. Now this. And you had it DNA tested. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. I'll show so you. So you know. Yeah, okay. no question whatsoever. This little pad right here. See that round circle? That's where the there's a little pad in between bones, so they don't scrub each other. That's that. This is the vein and artery here. This piece right here, I had to break off right on the edge of the fingerprint, a fingernail. And when I broke it off, it, like I say, this is three feet long from front to back here, three feet. Now, when I broke this piece off, it still has the fingerprints. You see it? You see those two little dots right there? and this strip yeah. going through, that's these sweat pores. This came right off near where the fingernail was. Well, and so, and you got it DNA tested and you got it CAT scan. So there's the person who did the DNA testing and CAT scan, what did they say? They said 100%, no question whatsoever. It was um, human DNA. And it was not only was it, it was human, human? Huh? oh yeah, and it was my, it was modern human. Here's a report right here. How is it? How are we so much smaller? These the, the, this size was nothing. The one that I showed you the big finger tip from, I figure he was 160 to 180 feet tall. That's nothing. That's tiny. That's tiny. Well, they found um, on Antarctica. They found huge pyramids with um, well, huge doors in these pyramid structures. 
Those aren't huge. Massive Those are little doors. tiny things. This is, I, I well, could show you things. But huge compared to our doors. I mean. Yeah, well, it, here's the key. Jesus Christ said that earth is a corpse. And that, I'll, sh I'll show you the quotes in a minute. But here's the, here's the DNA reports. Now, I had three tests done, three mud fossil samples, yeah? Now, they did PCR extraction. This is serious stuff. This is not their cheap swab. This I drilled into these deep. And I had that 36-inch tip done, the big one. I had a lung done, which is, is um, the thing is almost so perfect you could almost transplant it. And then I had that fingertip I showed you in a CAT scan. That was done. Now, this is what they did from all of these three tests. And all of the tests came out positive for mitochondrial human, modern human DNA, but mother's side. Now, here's what they did. The products, the PCR products, which is the extraction products, were submitted to Eaton Bio Labs for DNA sequencing. And they used the PCR products, or also used to, in the DNA sequencing. Excellent quality DNA sequence was obtained for the 36 inch tip. I drilled right into blood. I know where the arteries are and the veins, and I know where everything is on these. So I drilled right into the artery, took out literal blood. So from the 36 inch tip and from the lung, those were both like literally, they were blood. The quality of the third one was not quite as good, the, the mud tip. But here's what it ended up being. 36 inch tip, homo sapien, mitochondrial. That's the mother side. And this was this was not a cheap deal. This was, not, this was expensive. It took three months to do it. Oh, good people of us. Oh, that's crazy, man. Just like this stuff, are they? You see, today we have seen videos of this stuff, you see? And the wonderful things. You see now I drive you to give your thoughts about this, you see? And comments. Because now maybe this is a sign by the universe. And you maybe need to understand. Hey, what the fuck is this thing? There's an airplane next to a fucking I don't know what the fuck. Yo, what is that thing, you good people of that there? Care Bay. This is where we have all our patients stored, currently 199 humans, uh, plus almost 100 pets. So they're not really dead, they're just uh, legally dead. They're not biologically dead, obviously, because you can donate all kinds of organs that are still viable and keep other people alive. Uh, it just means that something critical has failed that we can't fix today. We come at the stage where doctors today have given up, where today's medicine and technology is not sufficient to keep you going, but we're saying instead of just disposing of the patient, uh, give them to us, we're going to stabilize them, stop them getting worse, and hold them for as long as it takes for technology to catch up and allow them to come back to life and continue living. So each patient is wrapped this all in a sleeping bag to protect them in case we have to move them to soak up liquid nitrogen. Then they're put inside this aluminum pod where they're secured in there, so they have mechanical protection. Uh, and then they're secured in these. So these things being made of aluminum are very good temperature conductors. They're very much like people in a long-term coma, except there's no, no metabolism. Uh, so to them, you know, no time is passing. They're not alive because obviously they're not, there's no metabolism, not functioning, not, not moving around. So people say, well, if they're not alive, they must be dead. Well, no, there's kind of an in-between state which is not really alive or dead. So in our view, uh, dying is a process and cryonics stops that process. It puts dying on a pause and lets you go into the future where we have greater capabilities to reverse that and bring you back to life. The first stage of the procedure uh, we have to wait until the patient's been declared legally dead. We then move the patient from the bed into this ice bath. And we're going to cover them in ice and add some water. Obviously, we don't have that here, but we're going to use this device called the squid to circulate icy water around the patient. That accelerates the cooling, the external cooling. At the same time, we're going to apply a mechanical CPR device. It's much more efficient and less tiring than manual CPR. And a respirator. First of all, we have to circulate blood around the patient, otherwise 
um, the heat won't get moved around, and we want to get heat out of the brain especially, so we have to circulate that around. And also, we're going to give a series of medications to protect the cells against damage. Uh, so we're going to stop the patient from returning to consciousness, number one. We're going to stop the blood from clotting. Uh, we're going to keep the blood pressure up. All these things we have to do to maintain viability, much as you do when you're donating organs. Uh, the one in the middle is uh, by far our youngest patient, not quite three years old, a little girl from Thailand who had brain cancer. Both her parents were doctors and she had multiple brain surgeries and nothing worked, unfortunately. So they contacted us. Um, because they were actually medical professionals, they actually set up an operating room in Thailand and we could send a team out there and do the procedure we'd normally do locally. When people talk about cryonics, they often say, well, you guys freeze people. And that's not really accurate because freezing really implies the formation of ice crystals. And that's something we want to avoid because ice does damage to cells. So we, we don't want to freeze the patient, we want to vitrify them. Once you cool very, to very cold below freezing, the solution, instead of crystallizing, will just get thicker and thicker, and it's like a glassy block holding all the cells in place without any internal structure, and so does no damage. And once we reach that point, uh, which happens around you know, minus 110 degrees C or so, um, once that's happened, the body becomes a true solid, and absolutely nothing is happening in the body. There's no biochemical activity whatsoever, certainly no neurological activity. So at that point, really, you could, it doesn't matter whether you wait a day or 100 years, you're going to be just the same as when you started. So um, some of the cooling takes place in, in that box, but then uh, the final cool down will take place in this smaller dewer here. Again, the patient's in, in the aluminum pod, so we can just hook that up, open up our roof, winch them up, move them along, and then straight down into one of these other containers for long-term storage. For the whole body, it's a minimum of $200,000, um, which if you look at the cost of open heart surgery is really pretty low. Uh, just for the brain alone is $80,000, and those are minimums. Uh, and a big chunk of that money is put aside to keep you cryo for the long term. The only group that you really see getting excited about the possibility are people who are sort of people who specialize in studying the distant future, or people who have a stake and wanting you to pay the money to do it. I don't really see any mainstream brain scientists, physiologists, people from psychiatry who study the mind. They're not lining up saying, I think this is a sound idea. Moreover, I don't think any of them do it. So at the end of the day, I think this notion of freezing ourselves into the future is pretty science fiction and it's naive. It, it's almost like what you'd be thinking about in a college dormitory discussion, if I could just freeze myself and then defrost myself, kind of like a bag of peas and wind up way in the future, wouldn't that be cool? Sounds okay, but then you realize how much we are products of our own time. Come on, boys. Come on, you're gonna jump. Okay, wait, wait, jump. Woohoo! Our dog, Oscar, here he is, right here. He was almost 15 years old when he became ill, and uh, he was suspended, put in cryonics. I, I, I think that in the future, the people who opted in for human cryopreservation or human cryonics preservation will most likely have family members and or friends who have also signed up for cryonics. And then it's just a waiting period. It's like, you know, you're in flight, you're in transport to your destination, and the destination would be the future where a person who had a cancer or ALS or some other type of injury or disease is revived, the disease or injury cured or fixed, and the person is, um, has a new body cloned or a whole body prosthetic or their body um, reanimated. And, um, meet up with their friends again. <laughs> People wondered, is this a human? And the same type of criticism is often reflected on cryonics. Um, they won't be human when they're revived, or who will they be? Will they remember themselves? And what, you know, it'll be a frightening world. I don't think so. So, what of Bradley? Are you as surprised as I am by those stories? Well, you see those I thought were just movie stories that we could see in movies. And that story ends there. No, I'm surprised it really happens even in real life these days. Good people of us, have you heard this story? Do you know it? Uh, do you have any details? Leave it there in the comment section as you hit the like button, you see? And thank you for watching up to this part. That gesture is never taken for granted. Even the one for leaving comments there and hitting the like button, like some guys usually do. You see, some guys are regular there. 
some guys like at minimalist at above average joe you see at christy hutchins at josie ayaya at mj stinson much love those guys man at gina dmc you see those are the ones that usually come in my mind first at the big youth oh much love to yourself man at five is uh, go but let's go back to five sex you see that's someone's name let's go back to five sex big up to yourself man and every other guys you are loved and respected for the people that have clicked for the first time you are loved feel welcome much love man goodbye till next time peace and love